In a lovely, really green part of Littleborough, I stand next to a really lovely green or turquoise MGZR. Lagoon is the name of the paint. Lagoon. It's uh, quite a sought after colour, I believe. The paint is immaculate. Look at it, there's not a scratch anywhere. It is lovely. No scratches, no dents. No pictures of Boris Johnson in the back window. What a fantastic motor this is. It's a three door. That's the best shape you can have. Well, there's, it's still the same shape, isn't it? The five door is the same shape, but with two extra doors. But the proportions don't lend quite as well to five doors as they do three. Subjective, if you like, that's my opinion. It also has the 17 inch straights on there with decent tires. This sounds a bit like I might be doing some sort of sales video. You only really see cars in this kind of condition with an MG badge on when it has something to do with this man here. Now then. Do that yes, ladder. I've turned up in my Lagoon t-shirt to present this latest project, this Lagoon ZR that I've been doing. Well, I say latest, it's been going on for about 18 months. I, uh, I got this car in January 23, and um, being that it was a monogram one, being that it was such low mileage, I just decided to go all out on it. So I've treated it as if it was an Allegro. And Tret actually, it. it might be worth some money. So what I've done is, I've stuck my neck out and gone for a very full-on restoration with it. So, it's hard. It's front wings replaced. It's had its bumpers replaced. Paint-wise, it's had all of it re-sprayed apart from the roof and the tailgate. Previous owner had a diesel version, this one, and a MGF. Um, he said he'd done the head gasket before he sort of daily did. As you can see, nice pink coolant. So, done the usual. I've had the cam belt done only yesterday. Um, so, new belts, water pump, tensioner service oil change new distant pads at the front to the inside I've just done the usual and had the headlining redone generally speaking after that not you know not much um, it's been more a body restoration job on the back end of the car this side has had some repairing from here downwards so you'll be able Whereas to sell. the other side, the other side has had, even though you can't see it now, it has had a full arch panel put in. My stage of this is that I've welded the arch panel in, I fitted the wings which were a decent white set, fitted the bumpers which obviously were in different colours and then I t sent it into the spray place for them to do the spraying that I asked for. Um, I've spent 1,200 quid on its paint. <laughs> 1,200 pounds? 1,200 pounds on its paint. Yeah, you, you're not shy to flick a few quid at the thing, are you, eh? No, I mean, I think that's why it's taken so long, because basically, car had a purchase price, then you're buying the wings, you're doing things as you can afford them, as other things sell. So that's kind of why it's taken so long because I literally did have to wait for a bit of a lump of money to come available to actually have its paint done to such an extent. But it's been worth it.
Oh, I don't suppose it's for sale, is it, Allegro Man? Oh, well, you know, I'm afraid you and myself can't survive without things not being for sale, I'm afraid. So, yes, it is. I'm okay with cycling, but running, yeah. Anyway, let's talk about this car. It's the 1.4, that means it has 104 brake horsepower. It's always, to me, the car to go for. Because it's more impressive to have 104 brake horsepower out of a 1.4 than it is 115 out of a 1.8. Plus the 1.4 is slightly less susceptible to head gasket issues. But let's not talk about that because that is nowhere near the problem that people talk about it as if it is, because it's really not. And this one, I'm driving it happily and comfortably because it's very smooth, it's straight, the gears work well, the speedo works, that's handy. And at 68,000 miles, that's not absolutely loads. It does require quite a bit of revving out to get its uh, power though. It's not like driving a diesel. It, it, this is the opposite of a diesel because there's not a great deal of power low down, but at the top there's loads, which is great because unless you drive like a lunatic all the time, when you do rev it up quite a way, it gives you a lovely surprise and makes you feel happy to drive it. And although the diesel version of this car will always feel quicker, it just doesn't suit it as much. The lightweight K-Series engine just really works better with this car. It's just so nimble with it. Let's go back up here. <laughs> no, it's a pleasure, a pleasure to drive these. They're just so happy. They're like, they're like your little Jack Russell. Do your Jack Russell still happy? Yes, it is. Oh, good. Well, apart from the fact she had a baby mouse the other day. Well, she'd probably like that. Yeah. Third gear. Third gear is respectable. You need third gear really to pick up a bit. But what you want to do is second gear, really. Then you can thrash its nuts off. But, you know, not until you buy it. You can't, you can't do that with somebody else's car. Not unless they say to you, don't forget to thrash its nuts off. And you've not said that, so I'm not going to do it. Original stereo. Piesta Resistance. It's the original one. MG, CD, USB, and... What, uh, an SD card? SD card. That's a big SD card, yeah. Yeah. That's an original stereo? Uh, yeah. Wow. An original late stereo? Yes. Well, it's all rather nice, actually. It's a rather nice car. And that brings me to the question of how much is it going to be for sale for? I'm going to put it up at £34.95. £3,495. You've finished it off nicely there. Yes. As he's done with the car, because as you can see, the condition speaks for itself. Yeah. Now, I'm... get your wallet out. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I've just sort of slung my neck out, thought I'll restore one of these and see what happens. See if see if these are actually at the stage where they're worth doing to such an extent. Yeah. Because, you know, we're all, all the cars are moving up in value, aren't they? Mm. You know, in terms of they've gone from being the sort of interest bangers now to something that's moving up. And I just sort of, I guess it's down to myself to find out that you know something like this really worth doing so I'm giving it a whirl good job so i think it's actually quite a brave move as well really because obviously you, you have things like your allegros that uh these days are getting quite a bit of interest for uh these are on the way aren't they but they're not really Often you can pick up one of these quite cheaply. Yeah, you can still pick up one of these for high hundreds or even low hundreds sometimes if there's a hell of a lot wrong with them. Um, and yeah, then you're asking the question of when you throw all that money and time into them, 
do they actually do with a few thousand pounds? It's like the Allegro's now generally are, you know, you're not going to buy one for under a thousand and, you know, you're not going to get one that's a decent standard sort of for under three sort of thing. And when I do one of those, I kind of know that the money will come back out of them. Yeah. With this, as I say, it was just a little bit of an experiment, but I suppose what has helped is that it's been done over time and other things have been going on to keep everything else going on, sort of thing. There we go. Allegro Man the Brave. He's made a nice car here. Bye. Thank you.